Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the questions that were asked in Affine for Tableau developer. And let us get started without wasting much time. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. But before we get started, let us thank a subscriber who has shared us this questions and his experience so that it can help others who are watching. So I encourage all of you who are preparing for interviews or attending interviews, please share your questions so that it can help others who are preparing. So the first question is the type of con connections that are available in Tableau. So there are, like we know, there are two types of connections. One is life and extract. So I want you guys to, you know, give some important uh, importance to this question because this question is, you know, frequently being asked in interviews these days. Like type of connections, life and extract, it is very basic and straightforward. But what I wanted you to stress is, in which cases will you go for life and extract connection? So I want you guys to have an answer ready for this. How will you justify that you know you have chosen chosen a life connection dashboard in your real time and how will you choose or when will you choose an extract connection in? You know, uh, in your dashboard, this is something that I want you guys to have an answer. Second question is what is blue pill and green pill? Again, this is a very important question in terms of your interview, in terms of your certification as well, because in that places, this type of questions generally pop up. So this is all related to your discrete and continuous data type. Okay, so that is something that we need to understand. So I think interviewer spent some time here in understanding the basic concept of uh, the guy here. If you see, these are all you know, basic questions that might get for a you know, uh, mid-level job or you know, for our L1 type of interview. So generally, continuous in, continue, we have two types, right? So we have discrete and we have continuous. Continuous means forming an unbroken whole or without interruption, which, it, which means it is a, like continuous data without, without there is any break in that range. So these fields are generally colored in green. Whereas discrete means individually, you know, separating and they are distinct, okay? And these are colored in blue, okay? So this is something that you need to keep in mind, okay? Continuous means green, discrete means blue. Okay, continuous means green, again, continuous means continuous in nature, forming an unbroken, which means it is basically continuous in nature. Okay, discrete means it is like buckets of data. So can we convert a dimension into a measure? So we can convert a dimension into a measure and measure into a dimension. It all depends on the data type that we have. Like say we have ordered date. Ordered date can be converted into a dimension. Okay, like if I go here and again, I can convert it into, it's already uh, this thing. I, if I click on this, I have continuous option, right? I can convert that into continuous thing. So I can do that. So it's all depends on how you want your data to be. So when we get clarity on what type of data we are working in, how we want that aggregation to be worked, whether we want that, like suppose I have uh, an employee ID, right? If, it, if I take the example of employee ID and in that I'm getting employee ID as 101, 102 and 103. Now, do I want this to get aggregated when I pull? That will, then it will be treated as measure because by default, when Tableau sees any numeric data, it will consider that as a measure and by default, when you pull that into view, it will aggregate some of our employee ID or whatever. But we don't want that. We want that to be in dimensional in nature because we as humans understand that, okay, this is employee ID and should not be aggregated, right? So we have to tell that. So that will again make it distinct or unique in nature and it will make it discrete. So that difference in nature of data we need to understand and then take actions accordingly and basing on that we can convert a dimension into a measure a measure into a dimension both are possible scenarios okay so spend some time in understanding the nature of the data 
when and in which cases do we need to do aggregations and you know we do not need to do aggregation all of that you need to have clarity second is if we have order date and sales which chart is suitable so whenever we have a date dimension in the view and we have a measure the standard dimension that is recommended by tableau is line chart okay so always you can remember it whenever there is a date in the view chart recommended is line chart next is relationship versus blending a relationship is modern method of joining between multiple tables so ideally or technically if at all we have to do joins on multiple tables we can do it at query level that is the first is we will try to solve those type of complex thing at a db level you can create a a view on top of multiple tables that you are trying to uh, connect and then you can use it if not then you can write a custom sql bringing the data from multiple tables then even if then you know your issue is not getting resolved then the concept of joins will come into picture in tableau okay and instead of joins we can use relationships okay and blending again it generally comes into picture when we are trying to build in bring in data from multiple data sources now if we observe the trend here again this blending question is being asked repeatedly these days relationship versus blending because these are new features and you know this the adaptability in real time is in increasing with passing time so i want you guys to spend some time in understanding what is the difference between relationship specifically relationship instead of blending i would say relationship versus join this is something and it is must to that every of one of you must know the difference between these two okay because ideally till now many projects were using these joins either in tableau or at db level but now with relationships it has become very efficient and very effective way of joining okay so you can try to spend some time and read the online material that is available and you know get a grip on this so that you know you can answer the cross questions that you might get on this okay so that's about relation bending so if i have two measures which have different range of values will it be possible to perform dual access okay so so generally you know when we bring profit and measure like say i'm taking region here okay and i am taking my sales which is of which has one value and when i take profit again obviously the range of it is different right so we will be we can bring this into two if i bring this our sales are always higher compared to our profits right so when i when we do a dual access on this two we are able to bring them under a common right so we can do that so end of the line we can bring the data which has different range of data into one common thing so after you use a dual access concept all you need to do is synchronize this so that they will be of same range okay and it will become easy for the end user to understand that is our answer for this so how many types of ranks are there in tableau so this is very important again rank and index rank versus index so rank means rank index means generally it is like generating a row number okay whereas rank is ranking your measure you know in the partition here so we have uh, i think i think he, here if you see i have this data and salary for each of this so what i want you to stress is observe the same salary that we have for this employees so thor and hulk has got same employees 4000 and 
whereas again this vanda spiderman and marvel has got same level of the salary now how tableau will rank for when we get to such a scenarios is what all these different types of ranks are so for index it doesn't matter it simply it it will generate the row number so whereas rank if you observe this is a standard rank and by default aggregation is a descending order and observe here 6000 is highest so it's a default calculation i took is uh, descending order if i go here and if i edit this so rank sum of salary is my measure and i have sorted it against descending order okay so first this is 22 because 4000 is a second highest salary here so it has repeated that rank but the next rank that we get after this is what we need to focus on so 2 2 so generally two times it repeated right 2 plus 1 is 3 so what is the next number it has given it has given fourth number here right so after one it repeated it two times and it gave us this fourth number which is 3000 third highest salary we got fourth number then again we have three times this one 2000 2000 3000 or uh, 2000 so 5000 got repeat uh, so, sorry the rank 5 got repeated three times here right so 1 2 3 got missed 4 we got and then 5 three times so technically what it is 4 5 6 7 and then 8 so we got eighth rank here so i want you to focus on how the rank is being generated for each of this okay so then i i will take after rank rank dense we will i will we will put rank modified now observe this here so in rank dense we got the immediate rank right 1 2 2 but it skipped the third rank and it gave us this sorry in this rank in rank 1 2 2 third one it skipped it gave 4 whereas in rank dense it repeated the rank but it didn't skip the next number it gave the third as is okay and then we got 4 4 4 again it didn't skip the next number it gave 5 whereas here it was skipping in rank rank dense it didn't skip whereas in rank modified if you observe again it is skipping here 1 2 2 so two times it repeated right so technically 1 2 3 so it repeated three times here and then we got four but after four again if you see through 2000 is three times right so technically it is fourth fifth sixth and seventh so seventh is the last number right so it repeated seven three times here and then eight and nine so unique is again unique number it generated and percentile is again in terms of percentile here it is calculating so this is difference i want you to focus whenever someone is asking you about rank function okay so next is again types of joins in sql and their output this is something that is very important and being asked many times in interview so in sql again this is in terms of sql i want you guys to focus what are the different types of joins okay their syntaxes and their output okay so let's like say we have left join we have outer join we have inner join okay and right join and along with that you can also spend on what is cartesian join and self join so till here any everyone will tell but i have created a video where i have shown what is the output that we are getting in this each type of join inner join means common records only left join means or uh, all the records so next is again output for a union and a union all so when we merge the data or when we you know do a union on two tables here union and union all so one is with the duplicates and the other one is without duplicates so that is what we need to tell suppose i have two records and two records when i do a union i'll get four records if there is any you know common data then i'll get only suppose one is common in between that then we'll get only three records so that duplicate will be eliminated so that difference we need to tell when this kind of question is being asked 
again next question is find the second highest salary here okay so this is again very common question same thing i want you guys to try in tableau as well i think we have tried this in the last video second highest salary or second minimum date so you can try that in tableau as well so you can write this using a simple sub query first thing is what we need to get is maximum salary so that we can get using this so if i do like say select star from employee where salary is equal to i'm just first finding out maximum salary from my employee table so using this i'll get the max salary and i am bringing in only that employee so i got only employee so from this query i'll get employee with max salary next is i am passing this query okay against again another query or i'm writing another query on top of this query so like say select name max salary from employee where my salary is not equal to this employee. so what is happening technically our max salary already we filtered out so this is salary it will not take other than this is salary whatever is maximum it will take that so that will become our second max right so let's say we have 100 and we have 90 so as a salary so when i select maximum salary i'll get this as max and then after bringing in this when i say my salary is not equal to max salary then this is getting eliminated and when i say maximum again on top of that we will get this 90 as the result okay so that is how we got set this year the concept is this okay so i think that's it from my side in this video i hope you have found this video useful if it does don't forget to like share and subscribe see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day